word. Praise you and glorify you in the name of Jesus Christ, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you for prayer. All right, let's get this set up. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. All right, look in the book of Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10. We have just had the discussion about the stone. And there's the stone that is, um, that is in Zion. Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone, a rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. After that discussion, we come into Romans 10, and Paul's prayer is that Israel might be saved. Because Israel has a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. And that Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to them that believe. Then we come to verse uh, 8. But what saith it? The word is near thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Really, that verse goes back to this argument. You see, contextually, uh, it goes back to verse 8. But what saith it? That's the scriptures. The word is near thee, even in thy mouth and in thine heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, I'm in Romans 10, 9 and 10 now. That if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All right. With this established in this context, that's how we come to verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now right before that is the call to missions in verse 14 how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher and how shall they preach or proclaim except they be sent as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report. So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So when we look at the context... We see the argument Paul is making that there has to be faith in Christ and his word alone. And that's what brings salvation. It's not the keeping of the law. And how is one saved? When they confess or acknowledge with the mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in the heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So um, this is how one is converted or is delivered from sin. It is acknowledging the person of the Lord Jesus. It is explained in verse 10 how that works. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. Uh, it's not his works, it's not his ideas. Uh, it's not the keeping of the law. It's a heart issue. Now righteousness is taken, that, that idea of righteousness is all through the book of Romans. For the righteousness apart from the law is revealed. Uh, and that righteousness which is of God is found through Christ Jesus. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So that righteousness is imputed by faith. Abraham believed God 
and it was imputed unto him for righteousness. Okay. Uh, Therefore, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall, shall be saved. Now, how are they going to hear without a proclaimer? That's the question. And so, how important is it to have the gospel proclaimed? Well, because faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The emphasis is on the word of God, what it is and what it does. Now, we know that the word of God is quickening and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword dividing uh, to the marrow and the bone. Uh, And so it is that inspired word Uh, And it is that uh, breath of God, that which is authored and the executor, executed of the Holy Spirit. It is that medium that God uses spiritually. And when one believes from the heart, faith, faith, uh, and that comes when one hears or knows of the word of God. Now, let's take an example. Turn to the book of Philippians, please. The book of Philippians. The book of Philippians, chapter 3. Philippians, chapter 3. Let's look in chapter 3, verse 7. But what things were counted to me, those I counted loss for Christ. Yea, doubtless I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but refuse, that I may win Christ and be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him. That's the experimental knowledge. Experimental knowledge. And the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Not as though I would already attained, either were already matured, but pursue after, if that I may apprehend that which also I am apprehended of Christ. So, in the Word of God, look in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. 1 Corinthians 2.9 1 Corinthians 2.9 Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. 2.9 of 1 Corinthians But as it is written, I hath not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man except the Spirit of God which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is of God, that we may might know the things which are freely given to us of God. Uh, As it is written, these things are written that uh, these things are written and God hath revealed them to us by his spirit. So when we're looking at uh, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God, uh, we must understand what, what that means in the sense of the written word of God. It's his inspired truth. 
It is that which manifests God to us. Okay? Um, it is the subject of all the scriptures is Jesus Christ. So um, now let's look at what faith is so that we're clear. Look in the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11. Now faith is the substance or rather uh, faith is the assurance of things confidently expected, hoped for. And the conviction, that is the persuasion of the soul, of things not seen. So the word of God is, the word of God helps us see God spiritually through the word, the invisible God. <coughs> okay. Uh, when we're, as we're here in Hebrews, look in chapter 4. Hebrews chapter 4. 4. Hebrews 4 verse 12. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. For the word of God is living. It is quickening, able to give life, and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So this medium, God's word, as authored by the Holy Spirit, is that which we can put our confidence in, conviction, persuasion of soul. Paul said... I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. I am persuaded. Abraham was persuaded to see that city whose architect and maker was God. Uh, Paul wrote again in Romans chapter 8, I am persuaded um, that nothing can keep us or remove us from the love of God. So when we're looking, at, when we see faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God, it is that spiritual undertaking that, is, that the Holy Spirit works in the heart of man. Okay, I don't know if I answered the question thoroughly or not for you. Is that satisfactory? Okay. All right. Next week, we're going to go in our back in our Bible outlines, and we're going to be on lesson 16 for the best I know. We're going to be looking at, at, at uh, sin, and so, uh, so that you know where we're going to be. It's uh, lesson 16, page 3435. I think it continues on. Yes, 36. Yes, okay, so it'll be uh, 36, 37. So you'll have uh, the next, uh, it's uh, sin, and this says part two. So I'm wondering if I skipped it already. Yeah, I did. I apologize. It's lesson 15, page 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay? Okay, Pastor. Pastor, can you try the Kamokoli team? They want to get on. Well, it's on. All they have to do is get on. I've got it right here. I've got Moses. He's in and out. I don't know if he's with the team or not. Are you calling the right group? Yes. I hit the, uh, I hit the one Emma gave me. Yeah, that's it. So if, if, if it doesn't work, it's Emma's fault, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait a minute now. Hold on. Now I don't have them. Okay, I hit call group, right, Emma? 
All right, and it all flashes. It all flashes up here. It's all ringing. See, if they try to call me, it won't work. And they keep trying to do that, and you can't do that. I, and they have to wait for me to call them. And sometimes I'm late coming out of Congo because they keep asking questions. I was late today. And we, we try to uh, temper that, but we can't always. So, uh, in fact, the question I was just asked was just asked over there. It must be something going through the region. <laughs> okay, here we go. I've got somebody. I've got Moses back. Okay. I'm doing network. Okay. Uh, is Justice and uh, David and Timothy with you? No, I'm from, uh, I'm in different place. Okay, I've got Moses from a different place. I Those guys aren't coming on. James? They are. They, I think... Uh... Uh, they are trying to call you. Let me see. Uh, okay, I don't know what to tell you. It's on. Okay, it's all right. Okay, so next week we're going to be looking at sin, part one, um, and then uh, we'll be moving on to part two also. It's uh, study outlines lesson 15. And it says 32, 33, 34, 35. And I think it goes on to 36 and 37. So we're going to spend a lot of time on this. So that's what we're looking at next time. Okay? Okay. Um, I, would, uh, I would have you consult your annotated index. You're going to end up in Romans 3, I'm thinking. And we'll look at those different definitions of sin together as well. Yes. So Romans 3.23 where it says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. In front of the word sinned is a Schofield note number two. And we'll be, we'll be going through that together next week. Okay? Okay, Pastor. All right, we'll probably be looking at the original sin, fall of, um, of Adam and Eve. We'll be looking at uh, the sin universally, Lucifer in heaven. Um, and we'll be looking at the definition of sin and what all that means. So that's what we'll be looking at next week. Okay? All right, so to recap. Uh, Dr. Tenua has signed the paper, should get the Monday. Um, Emma, I heard you. Miss Otenio is not well, waiting for response. Uh, Diana, we're praying for your pregnancy, and, um, and we're praying for um, Jacob as he's out of the country presently. Okay, so these are the things we're going to pray for and uh, look forward to. Uh, James, I'm going to be working on maybe moving down to Swaziland uh, in, uh, well, there's Miss Otenio now. Um, moving down to Swaziland sometime in September when I find out when the schools are out down there. That's the question I got to have answered. So if uh, you and James can figure that out, that would be helpful. Okay, let's have a word of prayer. Our gracious God and heavenly Father, we praise you today for who you are. Father, we thank you for the power of your scriptures, that all scriptures is given by the inspiration, God's breath, and is authored and executed by the Holy Spirit, and that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by God's word. Father, may we be those who are propagating your gospel that men may hear your word and be saved. And these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. God bless you, and we'll see you next week.
God bless you too, Pastor. Okay. Miss Otonio. I I um, um, uh, I didn't understand the chapter of the book of Philippians. What was the chapter? Uh, so that's what I wanted to ask. A chapter concerning what, Moses? Uh, you spoke about. Um, you gave us scriptures about uh, like Philippians uh, one, Corinthians two nine, but the chapter of Philippians. Uh, I did. I did well. Chapter and verse concerning which? Uh, I, mean, I did not get well the, the chapter of Philippians because we talked about Philippians. Uh, 